Is there anything about this particular official Washington that makes it different from official Washington of your? Where, where is the pivot point where Washington, D.C. institutionally became this Washington, right. D.C. and this town? I would say there are a couple of well, a couple of factors. I mean, one is just the infusion of money into the system. I mean, there is so, so where much. Do you, do you date that to when? I would say, you know, maybe the Clinton era was, was a real, it brought to bear a very, very new union between Wall Street and Washington yeah. in a way that didn't exist before. I mean, there's always been a lot of Wall Street types and yeah. a lot of administrations, particularly Republican administrations. But I think the Clinton years really, especially with Bob Rubin coming in to become Secretary of the Treasury, brought about a new era of cross-pollination between right. corporate influence and, and the government. Um, I think... You know, 9-11 was, was big, and, and just the, the wars of the Bush era, which just grew government to a great degree. It was a machine. I mean, it was a machine. But, I, but go back to the Clinton era. I think that what you make an interesting point about Bob Rubin, and that's where a lot of the money came in, but that was mm -hmm. also where partisan conflict became an industry unto itself. Right. Really, if you go back before Clinton, whatever we remember about the George H.W. Bush era, right. there was not an H.W. Bush derangement syndrome <laughs> the way there was a Clinton derangement, Bush derangement, Obama derangement. True. The, 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 the toxicity and the partisanship, the divisiveness really happened in the right. Clinton administration. Yes. Well, first of all, the Clinton administration evolved very much in line with the, the boom of cable news. I mean, yeah. that was a huge... Right thing that coincided the cross with cross firing of America the right? cross firing of America which predates the Clinton administration and so forth but but uh, not, it gave, not, not, all it, that not much, that much yeah, and not the way we think of it now right, right. And, and also the Clinton era in some ways was a collision of pop culture credibility or, or just, I mean you had things like primary colors you had things like the war room you had things like West right. Wing all we of made, which we made these people into celebrities yes I mean you right. had the rise of the celebrity operative and now right. you have people coming to Washington who grew up idolizing Josh Lyman, not Ronald Reagan or John F. Kennedy or Barack right. Obama. I mean, you have right. the whole pose of the Washington game, you know, being right. integrated into the Or another way to right. think of it is you have people coming not wanting to be George Stephanopoulos, the operative. They want to be George Stephanopoulos, the, the, the celebrity who was an operative and transformed himself into that. Absolutely. Right. Yes. yes. And look, there have always been hybrids of, you know, Bill Moyers is a great example. I mean, right. he was in the Johnson administration. But right now, you, you I mean, again, this last campaign, you literally, in the Obama re-election campaign, you had just staffers fighting with each other over getting on TV towards the end so that they could, you know, get the better cable deal when it was done.